the Lord. Amen. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have a title, title, as far as minister, elder, whatever. Amen. But, you know, I believe in obeying God. And I've watched him, and he's growing successfully. I like the stand of humility that he has taken. So I just believe that he has something to say, and I gave him that platform to do so tonight. Amen. And that's in the person of Brother Warren Webb tonight. I wanted him to come and preach tonight. But whatever the Lord has laid on his heart, I called him this afternoon and asked him to do this. Amen. So if there's any mistakes, charge it to his head and not his heart. Amen. If it's too deep a mistake, I'll deal with him after it's over. <laughs> but I am so proud of him. I am really proud of him. And uh, I love him in the Lord. And he's just a fantastic person. Anybody's eyes have ever been touched by Brother Warren? Amen. So we want you to stand up and put your hands together for Brother Warren Rudd tonight. Amen. Can y'all say hallelujah? Praise him. How y'all doing this evening? Before I even get started, I just want to I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my Father. And I also want to thank uh, the bishop of this house, man, my dad, man. That's my dad. Uh, I was very, very humble when he called me and asked me to do this shock, too. But I, I thank God for the call. Amen? Because to me, this is answered prayer. This is answered prayer. I waited a mighty long time. It takes a long depth to get to this point. I'm not even where I know God has me going. Amen? But as long as I stand beneath my father, because as far as I see him going, I know I'm on his tail. I'm going right with him. Amen? And that's part of that's going to be part of my message too tonight. Um, and I also want to thank you know uh, a couple of people before I even get started, if y'all don't mind, because these people stood with me while I was in my rebellious stage. I mean, no matter what I did, they stayed by my side. They're not here. My spiritual parents, the Lagan family, I love them. I mean, they provoke me in love, as the word says. Amen. And one of my best friends, Deacon um, Deacon Leroy Willis. Amen. I got to acknowledge him. Amen. These people stood with me, man. And my dad. I mean, my dad. Don't think God won't tell on you, man. I couldn't do nothing. Dad didn't know about it. I was like, I thought I heard it. He come right to me and let me know. Now go get it together. That's the father. Amen? And most of all, my wife. It, it's a humbling thing to stand up here and say, I thank God for the gift he's given me in her. Amen? She ain't here to hear this. But she'll hear it in the spirit. Today I look at her through the eyes of Christ. Amen? She's a great gift to me. Amen? Let us turn to Deuteronomy chapter, if you have your Bibles, turn to Deuteronomy chapter 21. I'm going to try not to be very long. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 21, starting at verse 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto him. I learned years ago that that word hearken means listening with an intent to change. My father taught me that. Amen. Then verse, verse 19. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him, and bring him out unto the elders of the city, and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Verse 21, And all the men of the city shall stone him with stones, that he die. So shalt thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. Let us pray. Father, I just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask your Holy Spirit to fill this room. I ask your Holy Spirit to touch each and every man in here, most of all the speaker, Lord God, that he may die, that you may live inside of him, Lord God, that he may decrease so that you may increase. Let, the, let him walk in the water of your word tonight, Father God that he may be edifying in correction, edifying in building up of the men of God. And we thank you for it in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the house say amen. Amen. Um, if I want to put a topic to this, I would have to call it, Are you a son or a child of God? Amen. Are you a son or a child of God? Go with me to John chapter 1. I was in such a, I was already in West Philly when Dad called me and said, come on down. I, I said, I need my belt. I got my dress belt. See, I have several 
you know, your belts, man, your Bibles, you know. I wanted my real one. <laughs> but God said, hey, come on. You know, you got that Bible that's torn all up, nowhere to go in it. <laughs> this one, praise God. I'm going to work it tonight, though. Um, John chapter 1, starting at verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning with God. And all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Jump down to verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to, to them gave he power to become sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name, which, were born of, which was born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. And he, we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen? So we know that we know that when his Son came, he gave us what? Power to become sons of God. Amen? Let's go back to Isaiah. Let's look at the prophecy concerning that Isaiah. I use a lot of scripture. You know, I come out of a house that uses a lot of scripture. Amen? So y'all just pray for me while I'm up here. Amen. Uh, Isaiah chapter 9, very, very familiar scripture. A very familiar scripture. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government should be upon his shoulder, and his name should be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. But I'm looking at these words, child and son. In the Hebrew, now y'all got to forgive me on certain pronunciations of the Hebrew and Greek words, amen? But I do know the definition, amen? This word uh, in, the Greek, in the Hebrew for child was called yilad. And it meant just a pure birth for having a father or, or a mother, amen? But the word son was pronounced like ben. You spell it like b-n, but the e is silent. It's like ben, ben like jane or benai or ben, amen? And that means a builder of the family name. When I saw it, I said, unto us a, son, a child is born, but unto us a builder of the family name is given. How many of you are builders of your family name? Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Because if we are going to become builders of the family name, we've got to start walking in Christ's likeness to do that, don't we? We've got to learn the instructions and the statutes that God has laid for for us to become sons and not just children or a child. Amen? And now, in the New Testament, I want to jump a little further. Now, in the New Testament, the Greek word for child is technon. Amen? And that means by mere fact of birth, you were born. But the other word for a son is huios. Hallelujah, huios. And this Greek word means he who displays the character or characteristics of his parents. Hallelujah. Do you display the character or characteristics of your parents? Jesus displayed the character or characteristics of the Father. So he became what? Huios. So in other words, he started walking in what? Maturity instead of immaturity. Amen? Amen. I hope you are with me on this. Let's go to Galatians chapter 4. Oh, Holy Spirit, have your way. Galatians chapter 4, starting at verse 1. I talk so freely all the time without a microphone. I'm finally getting used to holding one. <laughs> Amen. Um, starting at verse 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differ nothing from what? Servant. Though he be what? Lord of all. But, in, but he but is under what? Tutors, governors, until the time appointed of the Father. Hallelujah. Even so, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time has come, I love that statement. 